Greetings students. Today we are going to learn about one of China's leading conglomerate, China Resources National Corporation. Let us know this company in a much better way. China Resources National Corporation through its subsidiaries operates in textiles, petrochemicals, oils and foodstuffs, native produces and animal byproducts, light industrial products, arts and crafts chemical produces, metals and minerals, machinery and equipment technologies, electrical instruments and meters and property sector. The company was founded in 1986 and is based in Beijing, China. The company started as Leo and Company in Hong Kong in 1938. Its original purpose was to raise funds and purchase supplies and equipment for the People's Liberation Army, then engaged in the Chinese Civil War. It was renamed as China Resources Company in 1948. In 1983, the company was incorporated as China Resources Holdings Company Limited. China Resources is a conglomerate of 74 years history. Our company started as Lo and Company in Hong Kong in 1938 and was renamed as China Resources Company in 1948. In 1983, our group was incorporated as China Resources Holdings Company Limited. China Resources had made the great contributions to China in its early foundation. After the establishment of People's Republic of China in 1949, China Resources became the general agent of China's export in Hong Kong and participated in the process of setting up Canton Fair. After China's reform in 1980s, Facing with the fierce market competition, China Resources gradually developed into a conglomerate involving in many fields, such as chemical industry, retail, electric power, real estate, medicine, cement, gas, financial industry, microelectronics, and so on. China Resources has more than 300,000 employees with assets totaling around 80 billion US dollars and turnover totaling over 45 billion US dollars. Our current rank in Global 500 is 346. China Resources has achieved the leading positions in many fields relying on advantages of the group. Such as China Resources Supermarket owns the most numbers of retail stores in China mainland. China Resources Power Company is one of the five major power companies in China. China Resources Medicine Company ranks top three of China's major pharmaceutical companies. And China Resources Land Company is top 10 in real estate developers in China. China Resources Packaging Materials combined by World Best and Andeni in 2008 is a wholly owned subsidiary of China Resources Chemical Holding. The company's main business focus is the export of mainland China's products, including energy, to Hong Kong. Its retail operations are organized under the China Resources Retail Group and include Chinese arts and craft. It also runs a number of supermarkets in Hong Kong, originally under the CRC name, but now rebranded as Vanguard. It also owns NG Feng Hong, the monopoly meat importer, into Hong Kong. According to Fortune magazine, China Resources was ranked 187th on the 2013 Fortune 500 list, improved 46 places since 2012. It is the 18th largest state-owned enterprise in China. In 2013, the firm and its chairman, Song Lin, who also holds high government rank, was reported to be under investigation regarding purchase of coal mines in Shaanxi for over a billion dollars, 9.9 billion renminbi, which have not produced any coal for several years after their acquisition. 
There are substantial reserves of coal in the mines where developing it will require substantial further investments while meanwhile coal from newly opened strip mines in Mongolia has depressed the market. The deal raised questions about the leverage large state-owned firms had to borrow money at low interest for projects of dubious profitability and about where the money went and why. Tesco PLC and China Resources Enterprise Limited announced that they have entered into definitive agreements to combine their Chinese retail operations to form the multi-format retailer in China, the Joint Venture or WeJ. The key highlights are the JV combines Tesco's retail practices, international sourcing and digital e-commerce capabilities with CRE's local knowledge and brand to create a business with sales approaching 10 billion pounds in which Tesco will have a 20% stake. The JV will be the retailer in seven of the eight GDP provinces in China. Tesco will combine its 134 Chinese stores as well as its Chinese shopping mall business with the China Resources Vanguard business of 2,986 stores. The JV will secure synergies from combining the two operations. Tesco will make a cash contribution to the JV of HKD 2000. 325M. Tesco will also make a payment of HK $1,000 to CRE at completion and a further HK $1,000 on the first anniversary of completion. Tesco will have two seats on the board of a maximum of 10 members. Completion is expected in the first half of 2014 subject to regulatory and CRE shareholder approval. So students, we went through the company's history to its present market scenario. Hope you must have got useful information about the company. Have a pleasant day ahead.